just like that if it is given that a certain line passes through a given point whose position vector is specified and it is parallel to a given line is specified that is the general direction of the line is specified then we can write down the vector equation of a straight line so that brings us to the first form of the equation of a straight line which is the vector form as follows the vector equation of a straight line passing through a fixed point with position vectors a bar and parallel to a given vector b bar is given by r bar equals a bar plus lambda b bar so therefore here This is x, y, and z axis respectively, and we have a vector b bar, and we have this as the as the straight line whose equation we are trying to write. Suppose this is the point A whose position vector is given by A bar. Suppose we take another general point P whose position vector is R bar. Then this is R bar, this is A bar. So therefore this will be R bar minus A bar. But R bar minus A bar, the vector R bar minus A bar is given as parallel to the vector B bar. So therefore you can write R bar minus A bar as a linear combination of R bar minus A bar and B bar. So that is you can express R bar minus A bar as some constant multiplied by B bar or b bar as some constant multiplied by r bar minus a bar. So therefore this gives us the simple general form of the vector equation of a straight line which is passing through a given point, a fixed point with position vector a bar and parallel to another given vector b bar. So r bar is equal to a bar plus lambda b bar. Now, of course, it is possible to convert this into the Cartesian equation of a straight line in three-dimensional space. So therefore, for that, if we assume that the point P is some general point whose coordinates are x, y, and z, and we assume that A bar is some vector A i cap plus B j cap plus C k cap, and B bar is also a known vector, then it is possible to write down the equation of the straight line as follows. If we write P as X, Y, Z, R bar is equal to X, I cap plus Y, J cap plus Z, K cap. And therefore, the position vector of any point on this line is given by A bar plus lambda B bar. So therefore, if the fixed point is X1, I cap plus Y1, J cap plus Z1, K cap, that is A bar is X1, I cap plus Y1, J cap plus Z1, K cap. And the line to which it is parallel, it has direction ratios proportional to a b and c then the vector equation can be obtained as follows x i cap we got r bar is equal to a bar plus lambda b bar so therefore x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap is equal to x1 i cap plus y1 j cap plus z1 k cap plus lambda into a i cap plus b j cap plus c k cap therefore x minus x1 i cap plus y minus y1 j cap plus z minus z1 k cap equals lambda a i cap plus lambda b j cap plus lambda c k cap and thus equating the respective components on both sides we get x minus x1 equals lambda a y minus y1 equals lambda b and z minus z1 equals lambda c so therefore each of these is equal to 
x minus x1 by a will be equal to y minus y1 by b is equal to z minus z1 by c is equal to lambda. And thus we obtain the Cartesian equation of a straight line. So whenever you encounter the equation of a straight line in 3D space, this is the format of the equation that you can expect. x minus x1 by a equals y minus y1 by b equals z minus z1 by c. Sometimes either a or b or c can be zero. It is not to be mistaken as division by zero. It is just a, a notation which looks like division, but it's not division. It's just used to indicate the direction or the direction ratio in that particular direction. That is x direction or y direction or z direction. Many times you won't have x minus something. You'll just be given x. So therefore, assume that it's x minus zero, right?